Okay, everybody, so we are back to find some good, positive, happy things again. Um, Valentine's Day is over, so that's a good, happy thing. No wasting money on things that are usually not nearly as expensive as they were in the last couple weeks. So, hopefully everybody got shown a little bit of love, and yesterday was a big day about getting love, showing love, all those good things. And hopefully you at least had someone either show you or you were able to find that inner love that a lot of us tend to space out on and not give ourselves enough love. So hopefully someone reminded you, if not, happy old Valentine's Day. I hope you're reminded that all of us are pretty damn special deep down. Just don't be like uh, killing shit all the time and you know what not. So I know I saw a lot of cartoons, news, whatnot. It's like every bad horror movie I've seen over the last 20 years like come to life anymore. It's kind of crazy, but it's definitely given me some interesting ideas for what's ahead. You know, worst case scenario, some of the really bad, I'm not expecting Sharknado. So if that kind of shit goes into effect, I'm, I might start to get a little worried. But I think for now I'm okay with, um, I don't know, the UFOs and the, um, oh, I don't know. Like right now, there's the Amgir Mobile on the news. So, I don't really know if it's anymore. <laughs> Our world doesn't into a whole separate realm of fun. I have readings again for today. Well, actually for tomorrow. So for Thursday, I have actually something. Oops, I did it back. Uh, <laughs> I ate a cups in the sun. Um, when I went through and tried to look at I don't know what was kind of going on I did a lot of readings today for people and I saw that kind of all of us seem to be going through just some shit in general and um I saw that a lot of us are kind of coming to terms with the fact that we're all kind of getting over the old and when I say the old I'm not saying if you've been in a situation for a while and it's working for you, that's great. So obviously you aren't needing to shed that or necessarily change it, even. If it's something that works for you, keep going with it. The thing that I kind of was reading and one of the words that kind of jumped out at me was worldly. So it could be someone like me, even that some days I could be having a good day in my personal life, but... I see all that other shit going on in the outside world and it's it's overwhelming and it's nauseating and it's it's scary. I'm sorry. You know, I love this world and all of it. I don't want to be on a little island with all y'all trying to figure out who gets to go use the bathroom for five seconds because we're all kind of fucked. So I, I do get a little overwhelmed with the, the worldly shit. But I think for some of us, it's even our home lives and the situations we can be at in our everyday situation. Um, I think that we can get very overwhelmed and a lot of us are hitting that point. Springtime is coming and the spring to summer progression usually is that whole time where a lot of us shed the traumas of our mm -hmm darker time our winter time so if you had kind of a shitty winter with somebody spring hits and you might just be thinking you know what it's time for me to be so many pounds lighter and I feel like I can really go out on my own and do this now and and that might be something that some of you feel is is a good thing and other people that might definitely not be the right thing I um I read for people that fell in all those categories today and if you're really feeling like you as a person can't be that really good person out in the world making it better for the rest of us, because no offense, but I don't want to be able to like have to run into you if you're going to be a dick just because you're having a really bad day. Not that it's 100% your fault, but if you're going to be a dick, just be a dick. Just mm, try not to interact with the rest of us. We all don't love that. But in the same point, if you're ready to get to that point in your life that you just know what you have to get rid of, situations, environments, jobs, friends, relationships, if you're feeling that that's what it's time for, you need to kind of cling to it. And I don't know why tomorrow's, well, Thursday's, so 
Um, reading is so strong with that one, but maybe something's going on in your life right now that you're kind of going, well, maybe I need to kind of think about what I need to do. And who knows, maybe tomorrow will be a slow day for you and you'll have a few minutes to think. And if you are overwhelmed with things, maybe you need to think about what all options you have. Can you find a different game plan that you can work through things? Because it seems that if you have enough time to sit outside the box and look at a good reflection, you can come up with a really good kick-ass game plan that can make it new and good and remind you that life is short. And especially right now, a lot of us are seeing just how short it could be. And let's kind of enjoy what we have going on around us. So maybe tomorrow is going to be a really cool day. You know, I'm, I keep saying tomorrow, but I'm sure a lot of you will be watching this on Thursday. Um, you might get that little glimmer, that cool thing that's going to be like, you know what? Mm, it's a little hairy right now. Why don't we focus on this and try to remember how to have fun with things? And that can be a really good thing because we don't always have good days. And a lot of times when I look at cards for people, I don't see always a lot of great positive things. And you know what? Tomorrow looks like a good positive day. So hopefully... Everybody on Thursday has a great, phenomenal day, and we're all reminded that we deserve the better out of what we're stuck with, and we can achieve it if we just go ahead and cut loose some dead ends and, I don't know, burn that shit to the ground and start fresh. <laughs> Every day is a new one, so hopefully everybody enjoys it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do have a channel, and I post on my stuff, so you can always go ahead and try to comment and Find me, and I also do readings for people. That's not my selling point, but hey, if it helps, it helps. And I think that's kind of why I'm here anymore. So everybody have a good one, and I will be back.